Chapter 4 Matter and its States In this lesson, Solids, Liquids, Gases, Solubility, Changes in the State of Matter We have already learnt that anything which has mass and occupies space is called matter. All matter is made up of very tiny particles called molecules which cannot be seen with the naked eyes. Molecules are made up of still smaller particles called atoms and atom is the smallest unit of matter. Atoms are known as the building blocks of matter. All living and non-living things are made up of matter as they have mass and occupy space. Based on the arrangement of molecules, matter exists in three states solids, liquids and gases. Solids Solids have a fixed shape and volume. Molecules in a solid are tightly packed, usually in a fixed pattern. Molecules have a strong force of attraction between them. Solids may be hard like table, ice, stone or chair, or they may be soft like paper, cloth, chalk, powder, etc. Liquids Liquids do not have a fixed shape and size. They take the shape of the container in which they are put. Particles in a liquid are not tightly packed and have no regular pattern. The particles have less force of attraction between them. They are thus able to move within the container. That is why liquids flow easily. Liquids have a fixed volume as they occupy a definite space. Examples of some liquids are water, milk, juice and kerosene. Activity 1. Take a measuring jar. Measure fixed volume of liquid 250 ml. Take a few containers of different shapes. Pour the same volume of liquid in different containers. What do you observe? You will see that the liquid takes the shape of the container it was filled into. Gases Gases do not have a fixed shape and a fixed volume. Molecules in a gas are very loosely packed, and they can move about easily and very quickly. There is very little force of attraction between the molecules. So, they move about and occupy the WHLE space of vessel in which they are kept. They can also be squeezed into a smaller vessel. We cannot see gases. They can only be felt. The air around us is made up of gases like nitrogen, oxygen and carbon dioxide. Arrangement of molecules in a solid liquid and gas solid liquid gas having fixed shape taking the shape of the container having no fixed shape or volume solubility liquids have the ability to dissolve other substances in them to form a mixture of uniform nature this is called solubility the substance that dissolves in the liquid is called a solute the liquid in which the solute dissolves is called the solvent. The resulting mixture is called a solution. Molecules in a liquid have spaces between them. Molecules of the solute occupy the spaces between the molecules of the solvent to form a new liquid. Water is called the universal solvent as most of the substances readily dissolve in it. Solids in water Certain solids like salt and sugar dissolve in water, but some solids like sand and mud are not soluble in water. Potassium permanganate is soluble in water. Dissolved gases escape when water is boiled. Activity 3. Take two beakers containing equal quantities of water. Dissolve a few crystals of potassium permanganate in one beaker. Observe what happens after some time. You will see that the color of water in that beaker containing the crystals begins to change. This happens because the molecules in the crystals occupy the space between the molecules of water. You will also notice that the volume of liquid in both the beakers remains exactly the same. This is because molecules of the solute occupy the empty spaces between the molecules of the solvent. Factors Affecting Solubility a solute dissolves faster when it is in powdered form. The solution is stirred. The solvent is heated. Liquids in water 
most of the liquids dissolve readily in water. Liquids which mix in water completely are said to be miscible. Liquids which do not dissolve in water are called immiscible. Miscible liquids dissolve into each other completely. Activity 4. Mix milk and oil in water. You will notice that milk mixes with water, whereas oil does not. It will float on top. Milk and water are said to be miscible liquids, whereas oil and water are said to be miscible liquids. Gases in water. Gases like oxygen, nitrogen and carbon dioxide dissolve in water. Aquatic animals survive in water because they take in the oxygen dissolved in water. In carbonated drinks, carbon dioxide is dissolved in water under pressure. You must have seen that when you open a cola bottle after shaking, fizz with bubbles of gas comes out. This is because the pressure inside the bottle decreases on opening the bottle and the gas is released out in the form of small bubbles. Also, when water is boiled, Bubbles are seen on the sides of the vessel and at the bottom of water. Why is this so? In fact, when a liquid is heated, vapors appear in the form of bubbles. Changes in the state of matter We have already learned that matter can change from one form to another. Materials around us keep changing. The change in the state of matter occurs due to the alteration in the arrangement of molecules in that matter. Changes in the state of matter are of two types. Physical changes. Chemical changes. Physical changes. Sometimes only the state of matter changes but the molecules do not change. No new substance is formed. This is called a physical change. This change can be reversed as only the distance between the molecules increases and no new substance is formed. We have already learned that water changes to ice. Ice changes to water. Water vapor can change to ice. These are physical changes. The stretching of a rubber band is also a physical change. Physical changes are temporary. Can be reversed. Do not result in the formation of any new substances. Activity 5 Add about X or ml water in a beaker. Dissolve about 2 teaspoons of sugar into it. Now heat the beaker under the supervision of an elder. What do you observe? You will see that after some time, water evaporates and sugar is left behind. This is an example of a physical change. Other examples of physical change are melting of ice and melting of wax. Chemical changes any change in matter resulting in the formation of one or more new substances is called a chemical change. This type of change cannot be reversed. It is permanent. Some changes like burning of wood or paper, cooking of rice, etc. are changes in which the molecules arrange themselves in a different manner than the one before the change took place. When paper or wood is burnt, ash is formed which is a totally new substance. A number of chemical changes take place in our body all the time. Digestion, respiration, growth, etc. are all the result of chemical changes happening within our body. Chemical changes are permanent, cannot be reversed, result in the formation of new substances. Chemical change, burning changes wood to charcoal, 